As we have seen, women in STEM fields still face significant implicit bias on the basis of their gender. Project Implicit is aimed at measuring the association between two concepts to determine attitudes about different social groups. It offers the so-called Implicit Association Test, IAT. For example, the Gender Science IAT measures the association between math arts and male-female. Between 1998 and the release of Why So Few in 2010, more than half a million people from around the world took the Gender Science IAT and more than 70% of test takers more readily associated male with science and female with arts than the reverse. These findings indicate a strong implicit association of male with science and female with arts and a high level of gender stereotyping at the unconscious level among both women and men of all ethnicities. The findings also challenge the notion that bias against women in math and science is a thing of the past. Several solutions have been found to provide an answer to the question of gender inclusion in STEM context. Here are seven examples of actions that can motivate girls to study STEM. Action 1. Help families do away with the gender stereotypes. When teachers meet parents, they often hear comments such as well, perhaps uh, classical studies are better for a girl. If she's particularly meticulous, uh, we'll have her daughter study accounting. It's important to offer support for families to work through these paradigms of the past. Action 2. Introduce computer programming in elementary schools. Estonia and Ireland were the first countries to adopt this subject to offer all students equal opportunities to become familiar with the programming languages. In general, for girls, having obtained positive results in a subject at school is a motivating factor when choosing their subsequent education course. For those in social categories who are less sure of their potential in STEM, to have done it in elementary and high school helps self-esteem. In particular, encouraging girls and boys to develop their special skills is essential in order to develop their intellectual skills. Action 3. Present STEM subjects has fields in which social problems are solved, fields fueled by innovation and creativity, where new products and services are invented, cures for illnesses discovered, crime prevented, and so forth. An interdisciplinary approach to teaching the subject can be a very good way to get girls interested. It's important to use extensive references to real-world problems rather than abstract models. Teaching STEM subjects in a foreign language provides support for categories of students who find it more difficult to participate in integrated language learning experiences due to economic or cultural barriers encouraging the participation of students who are more motivated to learn foreign languages. In any case, the rigor of STEM studies is the most inclusive instrument a school can offer. There is effective discrimination when advantages are given to people perceived as weak. Action 4 Tell stories of actual women succeeding in STEM which can inspire young women by giving them real-world examples to model themselves after. These role models may be declarations from peers, people who went to high school and obtained excellent results in STEM subjects, 
contradicting social stereotypes. Declarations of STEM professionals in context with a strong social impact. Experiences of famous personalities who represent a source of inspiration for people who typically exclude themselves from STEM development. Good Nice Stories for Rebel Girls is a book for women and men of all ages that tell the stories of women who found a way to express their talent to the full despite gender stereotypes. Over half a million US dollars have been collected for the book on Kickstarter, a crowdfunding website for creative projects. So, women aren't good at scientific subjects? Some people with their work proved exactly the opposite is true, like Fabiola Gianotti, the director of European Organization for Nuclear Research. Elena Cattaneo, a pioneer in embryonic stem cells in Italy. Yu Yu Tu, who, with her medicinal herbs, won a major battle against malaria and a Nobel Prize winner, Mariam Mirzakami, the first and only woman to win a Fields Medal for Excellence in Mathematics. Rosalind Franklin, who was the first person to ever photograph a DNA molecule. Or Valentina Tereskova, the first woman in space. Action 5. Promote social engagement initiatives for gender inclusion in the world. Reshma Saoyani is an American political activist who in 2012 founded Girls Who Code, a non-profit organization set up to educate girls in computer sciences. Reshma wants to introduce more and more girls to binary code and programming with the aim of finally managing to bridge the gender gap in STEM. Over 10,000 girls in 42 US states have participated in the project to this day, but there is still a lot of work to do. Many countries have started STEM engagement campaigns, like the STEM Month in Italy. Action 6. Encourage girls to get their hands dirty from the start. It's not a question of wanting to be perfect, but of being courageous. This mechanism can be clearly seen, for example, when they start work for the first time. On average, men tend to apply for job offers for which they meet 60% of the job requirements Women only apply if they meet 100% of the requirements. Individuals with a fixed mindset believe that intelligence is static. In contrast, individuals with a growth mindset believe that intelligence can be developed. They show a far greater belief in the power of effort and in the face of difficulty, their confidence actually grows because they believe they are learning and getting smarter as a result of challenging themselves. These perspectives are important for women in STEM because encountering obstacles and challenging problems is in the nature of scientific work. The ways men and women respond to the feedback on their performance are different. If girls and women believe they have a fixed amount of intelligence, they are more likely to lose confidence and disengage from science and engineering when they inevitably encounter difficulties in their course work. This is true for all students, but it is particularly relevant for girls in math and science where negative stereotypes persist about their abilities. So, in math and science, a growth mindset benefits girls. Action 7. Promote comprehensive action to improve the language used for women. 
Women are the primary target of hate attacks on social media. Women hear unacceptable words and comments that put them in a position of social inferiority every day. Let's consider the story of Jenny, one of the trainees of a women leaders program. She's been recently hired as a manager in a company's IT division. After a few weeks, Jenny expresses her disappointment in the office for a job that wasn't done well. The comments of her colleagues are, is it the time of the month? That woman's got balls. That's why the boss should be a man. Wonder who she slept with to get to the top. The kind of language used can transform a situation into reality. We need new words and new expressions to favor the effective inclusion of women in STEM context and the world in general. These are seven examples of actions aimed at motivating girls to study STEM. Sharing the best practices is an essential step to promote cultural change.